What's up guys, Ruben Rodriguez here from the Vault Pro Scooters. First time doing a custom build again. Usually I'm editing videos behind the scenes, but finally Nicole chose me to do a custom build, so let's dive right into it. Let's go into the warehouse and pick the parts. Oh my God. Hey guys, sorry, I had to go to the bathroom real quick. So lately, I've been doing the product overviews. This part has caught my attention recently. The North Scooters John Dev Signature Deck. That's gonna be the first part I'm picking, so let's grab that. Yeah, that's the one. I think that's the one. It says John Dev, I'm not sure. We'll see in the studio. Actually, I'm right next to the bars too, so let me just get the bars. I've never actually ridden these bars before, but they've always caught my attention. The Proto Retro Lights, these are the V3. <laughs> <clears throat> Retro light V3. I'm already next to the grips, so the grips I'm gonna be using for this build are the black transparent ethic grips. I've used these in the black colorway, really comfortable grips. I'm getting some black ODI black, black ODI aluminum barns. All right, we're at the top, we're still going down. We're next to the clamps compression. I'm going to be going with a Proto Sentinel clamp. This is definitely one of the coolest clamps I've seen out there. I've used it myself personally. It's held my scooter together for the three years I've had this clamp on. Definitely recommend this clamp. The headset I'm going to be using is a Proto Integratron headset. Proto. We're next to the grip tape already, so I'm going to be going with the Hella Grip XL grip tape. This grip tape is actually clear, so the top that you'll be seeing is just the black lettering. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be getting one of these fingerboard benches so I can whip 5.0 later. Definitely recommend buying one of these off of our site. It'll help you learn your tricks a lot easier, right at home, on your desk, anywhere you can take it with you. Bah, mm. All right, the wheels I'm gonna be using are the North Scooters. Sorry if I butcher your name, homie, but Bros Venson. I follow him on Instagram, really good rider. Such a good style. Definitely like the graphic he chose for these wheels. Nice little film canister on there. So sick. So the fork I'm gonna be using for this, as you guys all know, I use standard compression system, which is SES, the strongest compression system out there. Definitely recommend it. I'm gonna be going with a native Flamingo 2 fork in black. Those are all the parts I picked for this build. As you guys can see, you guys got a small glimpse of it, but now it's time to head into the studio and get building. We're now in the studio, guys. I can now take my mask off. Hopefully you guys have been staying safe out there during this whole COVID era. Make sure you guys wear your mask out there, but now since we are in the studio, me and James, myself, let's get right into the build. Once again, from the top, let me go over the parts. We got the North Scooters John Dev Signature Deck. Really nice and sleek. That gray, really nice like that. Going over to the Proto Retro Light V3 bars. I got them in a black colorway. Over here on the right side, we got the Hella Grip Classic XL grip tape. This grip tape is transparent. So what you're gonna be seeing on the top side is just the black font. That's gonna look really sick on top of this gray deck. Over here, we got the silver Proto Sentinel SES clamp. Like I've said, I've used this clamp myself before in my own setup. It's a really long lasting clamp, really strong. Right in front of it sitting is the Proto Integratron headset in a silver colorway as well to match the clamp. Right next to it, we got the Nathan Flamango 2 fork in a black colorway to match the North Scooters Bros Venson. I follow you on Instagram, bro. Keep killing it. You got one of the cleanest styles out there. Really dig his wheels and the color scheme he chose for it, as well as the graphic on it. Over on the side of those wheels, we have the Ethic Black Transparent Grips. I've also used these set of grips on my scooter before. Definitely recommend these grips. They're squishy, comfy, long lasting. And to top it off, we got the Odi Aluminum Barns. These barns I've also used on a setup of my own. These barns have definitely lasted a long time compared to the rubber or plastic barns that come with your regular set of grips. Definitely recommend a barn set like that because it'll last a lot longer and keep you safe from those sharp edges on your bars. But with all that being said, we've gone all over the parts. Let's go right into the build. First off, let's start with the grips on the bars. Sometimes you gotta start by just slipping them on. So now since we got the grips on, let's put the ODI bar in since we're already at the top of the scooter. What's really cool about these barns is that once you put them in and you tighten them, they're not gonna come out unless you for some reason loosen those barns up. These will stay in there. All right. Just like that. Got one on. All right, and just like that, we got the second one on. So we got the top of the bars already set, ready to go. Nice black barns on the side, black transparent grips in the middle. It's looking good already. I'm actually gonna take the brake off on this setup just so you can run it brakeless, but if you do buy this custom build, the brake and the extra parts will come with it. All right, so now since the brake is off, let's put the grip tape on. This grip tape is gonna look really sick. Nice see-through with the black print. It's gonna look so good. 
Look at that. Look how nice that looks already. Hello, grip. All right. Looks pretty good to me. You wanna always make sure you don't have any air bubbles in your grip tape. If by any chance you do notice some after you've applied as much pressure as you can, just take a nice blade to it, pop a little hole in that thing, and it'll be good. The important part is done. Let me cut the grip tape around the welds. Let us know down in the comments how you guys put your grip tape on at home. Do you have someone else do it for you? Do you have your friend? Do you have your own process of doing it? Do you just stomp on it, you know, step on it? Hopefully everything comes down the way you want it to, or you know, do you take your time with it? All right, so once you have your grip tape on like this, you usually will see the sides that are left over. All you have to do now is get essentially a file. We will use the Allen key, file the sides down. This is gonna help push the grip tape against the deck even further. Give you a nice straight line to cut it up against. Can the blade just slip through? Yes. Give me that. The back dropouts are nice and set. Just like that. See, once you file things down on the grip tape like that, it's gonna make it a lot easier for the blade just to come through and make its work a lot easier to do. And that should do it. Right around the welds. What do you guys think? Pretty fresh, not bad for a first grip job and Honestly, a really long time. Let's go to the back end and just assemble the wheel. What's also really cool about this north deck is that all you need is one tool to tighten or loosen your axle because the aluminum inserts actually hold the nut on the other side. Bye. Is it gonna go through first go? Yeah, yes it is. Wow, this is always a struggle, but it isn't really that much of a struggle. Uh-oh. It's not in the dropout. There we go. Definitely put grease on your bolts. At some point, your bolt will seize up and you could prevent that just by dabbing it up that little bit. You see, you see how nice that fits right there? Look at that. Just nice and bop right there. Let's go to the front end. Let's start with the headset, Integratron headset. Flush at the top. All right, the bottom bearing and top bearing have popped in. Let's slide this fork in. Hmm. One thing I will like to mention is that the Proto Sentinel clamp comes with a spreader bolt. Before we even try to put the clamp on, let's see if we can do it without having to spread it. Ah, okay. Usually if you can't really like pop it on that easy, just tighten the spreader bolt. The spreader bolt will essentially spread the clamp open, giving you more room to just bop. You go straighten out for me. Straighten out. I definitely thought I was going to need to use a headset spacer in between the headset, dust cap, and the clamp. Sometimes if you don't have enough room for your compression bolt to compress your whole fork down together, you will need to use a headset spacer just to give it that much more room. But thankfully I didn't need to use one for this and it makes it look that much better. Let's get this front wheel on. Nice little makeshift stand right here. It works great. Boom, oh, just tighten that down just a little bit. All right, we're good. Wow, this looks so sick already. From my point of view, wow, this looks amazing. Like I said, guys, doesn't hurt to grease your bolts. At any point, they can seize up. Save yourself from all of that stress. It's just a little dab, you know? A little dab makes everybody happy. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, all right, yeah, that's good. It's always good. We got the clamp bolts into the clamp. They're all greased up. Like I said, remember, I don't know how many times I'm gonna mention that in this video, but grease your bolts. That's always a nightmare to deal with, so I just want to prevent you guys from dealing with that nightmare. All right, let's get this bar in.
Yep, definitely one thing I recommend when you're tightening the clamp bolts, go little by little on each one. If you do start with the first one and tighten that the whole way, that also could potentially mess up the clamp. You wanna go little by little. Dude, I haven't built a scooter in so long, wow. <laughs> All right. And once you feel the first bolt start to give you a little bit of tension, just go slowly on the rest of them. Like I said, if you do the first one, all the way that could potentially mess up the clamp. You wanna make sure it compresses and clamps down on your bar evenly throughout all of the clamp bolts. Just one last run through. Give it one last little crank. Dang. Yeah, we're good. We are good. That is it guys, that's my custom build. It's honestly one of the sickest custom builds I've probably built here at the Vault Pro Scooters. I would definitely make this my own setup, but I wanna let one of you special customers out there in the world be able to whip this thing around at your local skate park or in your local streets, you know? Show everybody what you got on this. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, the drop test. We wanna know how dialed this sounds and how, how good it's gonna sound when you're riding it at your local skate park. So let's go see how that is. Speechless. Honestly, I could not have expected it to sound any better. Once again, I am Ruben Rodriguez. Follow me on Instagram, Ruben Rodriguez with two Z's and an underscore. Follow the Vault Pro Scooters on all of their social media platforms. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Comment what other parts you guys would like to see in any custom builds, who else you guys would like to see as well on the channel. And last but not least, I'd like to shout out the Vault product demo page. Make sure you guys go check that out. Every product on our site will have a overview on it, hopefully soon. I will be behind the scenes editing and filming those videos, so make sure you guys go check those out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on each of those videos. But what can I say guys, thank you again for tuning in on this video. We'll see you guys in the next video.